Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life and my crazy hair. It's Lori and it is Wednesday. I just filmed this morning uh, the giveaway video. It's this, af it's this afternoon. It's the afternoon now or 12 o'clock. And I was gonna start the vlog for the week. And to start off, um, Kefir, Ugh. I have a question for you. So I'm embarking, and I had started this last year, but I'm going to be very serious about it this year on a debt pay down. Um, I have some credit card debt I want to get rid of, and I would like to pay down on my condo. I would like to pay down on my car, but first the debt, get some savings. You know how it is. It's January. Let's all make our lives better. But I didn't know if you would be interested in like some monthly updates of where I'm at. I'm not going to get into like stuffing cash envelopes. But I'm going to be using cash starting February um, as much as I can off. But I'm not, there's plenty of cash stuffing videos out there. But on my weekly vlogs, I didn't know if you would be interested to know where I'm at. And my big thing is I'm going to take my passive income. So my YouTube revenue, any bonuses I get, any overtime I might get, any extra money that I come to me or that's left over from my bills. So it's kind of a hybrid, I guess, approach. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is the money goes into my bank account. I pay off on my bills. I pay myself to my savings, whatever. And then any extra I'm going to take out in cash for things that I'm going to pay cash for. Like Sunday, I'm going to get my hair cut. I have cash for that instead of swiping credit cards all the time because it's too easy for me to just swipe cards. And I need to stop that. And I need to kind of dial it back. So I didn't know if that would be something you'd be interested in knowing and kind of following along with my debt pay down. Um, I have four credit cards in total um, and nothing too crazy, but I do have four credit cards and the goal within the next year and a half is I would like to have them paid off. If sooner the better. Um, and actually like this month I'm paying off one. It's, you know, a very low balance. Um, another one I'm, I am hitting it hard trying to get that paid off. And then one of them is some medical, um, some medical stuff that I had on a card, but I want to pay that off. And then I have another card. So I have them all in the order. I want to hit them the hardest. So everybody will get their, you know, not minimum payments, but everybody will get their payment. And then the one I'm focusing on at that moment. So what I might do is say, um, the beginning of February, we might say I have a hundred dollars in debt and this is how much I've paid towards it. So this is where we're sitting. I don't know, something like that. I don't want to get too much of my personal information out there, but I will share with you some, you know, we all, we all have things that need to be improved upon. And this is an area that I need to improve upon in my life to make things a little easier. I'm saving for a trip to Ireland. I, you know, love to travel and, I can do all those things, but if I didn't have this credit card debt, I would feel much more comfortable about doing more of those things once the world opens up. Anyway, I'm just babbling now, but that's my goal right now for January or for the new year. For 2021, I don't usually do resolutions. I set goals. One of my biggest goals is take more control of my finances and get um, some stuff paid off. That is a huge goal for me. Another goal that I have for this year is to uh, do some more purging in my house. I went through and did a lot of painting and updating. Now I wanna do some purging. And last year I used a lot of my passive income for home repairs and things like that, which is great. This year, debt, 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 debt is getting paid down. So if that's something you're interested in, comment below, let me know. Um, I think we'll start, if so, I'm gonna start I will start updating you at the beginning of February. We could probably will do since I am I work on a bi month or bi weekly pay situation, and I can give you along the way things I do like this is how I'm handling grocery money. This is because I don't know I'm figuring it out, and y'all can follow along if you want. Um, so I would say once a month I would do an update with like here's my cash that I'm using for groceries, and this is how we did this month, and this is what I have left because I'm going to set myself a budget. Never did that before. I, I mean, I had like, hey, I want to try to spend this, but 
I'm going to take cash out of the bank, take cash to the grocery store. And that's what I need to fit. Cause I'm really good at plucking things off the shelf and paying for, you know, so I'm just trying to take a little more fiscal responsibility. <laughs> I know I don't like it. I mean, I do, but I don't. <laughs> Whatever. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, comment down below and I will bring you along on my journey of 2021. And let's see how much debt we can pay off. If you want to come along and if you want to, you want to do it with me, perfect. Get yourself an order. We've got two weeks until the beginning of February. And what you'll need is I would start watching some cash stuffing videos because that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a little reading on Dave Ramsey. You know, I'm not, I'm not following any specific. I am creating something that works for me and that may change. But right now I have a long-term goal of the year to pay off this and I have a short-term goal and it's going to be a two-week goal every two weeks to try to stay on track and try to track what I'm doing. And if it's in smaller increments, then I feel more achievable than saying, oh, well, I'm going to, I'm changing my whole life because that's just not going to happen. So now Dollar Tree doesn't get, that does not go into my personal budgeting because that is business. This is business. This is a business expense. I make ad revenue from YouTube and that money goes back into Dollar Tree. So that doesn't really count towards um, what I can do. All right, so we will talk with you later and let me know down below if this is something you're interested in. Happy Saturday. I was all zipped up because I was chewy. Got my Saturday coffee. I'm a mess. I just went to the post office and mailed out prize packages. I mailed out five packages today. So if you won in the giveaway, it's on its way. And I got a lovely card. Oh. oh, I did cover that. A lovely card in the mail. And a box that I will open when we... Oh, oh. Guys, with the pets. <gasps> Look at the cutie puppy and the little kitty. Oh, thank you, Diana. I love it. And I got a box from Billy Joe. You're so good to me. Thank you. I will open it and show you what I got when I get home. Um, oh, it's going to be a crazy day after work. Um, overtime today, which boo, I'm working Saturday, but yay, I'm getting overtime, which helps me with my pay my bills. Um, extra payments. <laughs> I can pay my bills. Extra money to pay on off those couple bills I want to get paid off this year. I'm going to be making some cash envelopes um, to kind of help. I'm sort of doing the Dave Ramsey thing, sort of not, just my own hybrid. But if you do or you do a cash envelope system or want to, I say look up Dave Ramsey, go to some budgeting channels. We can do this together. But the whole point I'm making is do you want a giveaway for some budgeting envelopes? Because I will make extra and I will mail them out. Uh, to somebody who wins them. I also have another giveaway coming up with some cute stuff. So you watch my Dollar Tree haul because it'll be in there. All right, let's head home. Now, today's plan, it's not very exciting. I have to work, like I said. Probably I'll work four hours. We'll see how long I can stand sitting at my desk doing tedious work. And also I am baking a ham. Because, boy, duh. Um, I don't, if you were watching back then at my birthday in October, uh, my cousins gifted me half a pig. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? And in it was a ham. They didn't vacuum seal the ham. They just bagged it. So it was starting to get freezer-y looking. So, I mean, it was just from October. It's fresh. Like, this pig that they had process was from 4-H over the summer. So this is a fresh, fresh meat product. But it was, there was air in the bag, so I'm not sure. I just decided that, and plus I like ham. So I'm cooking a ham today. I'm gonna cook it, cut it off the bone, and then I'm going to make bone broth for my cousin. If he wants some, I'll text him and see if he wants some bone broth. 
and um, my brother, not this brother, a different brother, uh, who lives downtown. He lives alone. He is uh, my. He has had a stroke and heart surgery, so he's um, physically, you know, a little disabled. So I'm going to take him some of this ham tomorrow when I go get my hair cut. Thank you, Jesus, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow because it's that point again where it's too long and I can't function. Um, so what I'll do is cook the ham while I'm working, let it cook low and slow, and then I guess technically we're heating it up, but whatever. Cook the ham, slice it up, get the bone out, figure out if I'm making bone broth. Um, I'm not making it for myself. I don't make ham bean soup. So, as much as I would love ham bean soup. Now, if I make a big old pot of ham broth, I'll keep some for me, but a little bit. Again, you don't care. And then we may do some crafting later today. And then tomorrow in the morning, I'm getting up, leaving the house, going to deliver ham to my brother on my way to my haircut because it's all on the same direction. And then come home and Sundays I typically like to cook for the week and I like to um, tidy my house and just kind of reset my week. That's my Sunday and it always has been my Sunday. And what's funny is this brother does the same thing, which we're just freaky weird family. He is a Sunday, a little more intense than I am, but he's a laundry on Sunday, grocery shop on Sunday, like that's what he does. So it's probably where I got it, but um, I don't, I don't feel like I need to grocery shop this week. I need to take some inventory. And by that, I just mean I need to look at my refrigerator and make sure I have cream um, for coffee, sweetener. Oh, I do need to run to the store real quick and get cauliflower. Because I think with the ham, I'm going to make a cheesy cauliflower... Um, ham bake like you would do if you were using noodles but instead of noodles I'll use cauliflower for the week like a casserole type cheesy hammy cauliflower bake I don't know something because that sounds good and wintry for the week and then yeah I don't think I need much else I'll do an inventory I'll do a list and then I will show you what I buy but potentially just going to be ahead of cauliflower <laughs> All right, I need to get in the house and get to work, but when I get to my desk, I will show you what I got in my package. I'm getting ready to film a Dollar Tree haul, but I wanted to show you what I got in the mail today. And my little friend here wants some of love in. He's been wanting some attention today. I just fed him dinner, so I'm not sure what's going on. You wanna say hi to our friends? Yeah, get your nails out of me, please. <laughs> You say hi. Hi, friends. This is Wellington. All right, get down. Thank you. So I got a package from Billy Joe. God, I love you, girl. She takes such good care of me. I'm super excited. She found the bunnies. And yes, they do look dark, but they still look green to me. So I'm super excited to be able to put these in my tiered tray. And she found me four packages of them. Thank you, I'm super excited. And they are adorable. Yeah, they are darker green, but I think they're cute. I'm still gonna make the bigger bunny because they don't sell that. So she sent me those and then this Lazy Keto Cookbook. I'm super excited to look through here and see what I can find for dinner this week, although I just made a ham. I cut it in half, well I cut it off the bone, taking half to my brother, half for me. But I bet you there's some ham, ooh red curry coconut chicken that's a favorite so she sent me that <gasps> some of these scrubbies which we love i use these a lot thank you oh and i'm excited she found the scrubbers at her store and i love the yellow for summer these are great i i found a couple um i was going to give some to sarah so now i have a couple i can share and some i can keep um, but these are great on my glass top stove if you've never tried them. Thank you so much. I'm excited for that. And then, 
This is going to be perfect. I did not find these at my store. These really neat, and you know what they remind me of? Coffee jars, old fashioned coffee jars. With the and I love the plastic lids to put in the refrigerator to store stuff. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I did not see these. And I'm not saying we never got them, but I don't hit every every store all the time. And I have like I have yet to see the gnome signs at my store, but they may have happened and I just missed them. Because I know the winter gnomes, the ones that came out at Christmas, I never saw them ever. But I was shopping at one of my, I'm just going to hold this forever. I was shopping at one of my stores and I did see a, a lone one off somewhere else. So I'm assuming they have them or somebody returned one there. I don't know. Hi. Hey, buddy. They're all excited. I, you'll have seen before this, their, their order from Chewy came. I got them a toy, which is hysterical because that, if you see in that corner right there, that pink bucket, that's full of cat toys that I'm taking to my brother's kittens. They got, they adopted some babies and, and they're little babies. And I'm like, guys, don't play with their toys. Get them taken away. They just have, my boys have a lot of toys. And so, um, they don't play with them all and they're older. Wellington, like I said, he's 14, I think. And Alex is like six or seven. So they don't always play with their toys, but they love them and they'll, you know, I pulled them all out today to sort them and then they're all about them. But I will tell you, they had the best fun with that box from Chewy.com. So Billy Joe, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate anything anybody sends me, to be honest with you, a card. I love it. It just makes my day. All right, I'm gonna not change my clothes and I'm gonna film a Dollar Tree haul. And then I'm gonna light the fireplace, change my clothes, and then I'm filming another Dollar Tree haul that's gonna have a giveaway in it. So if you're watching this, you're gonna have to watch my next two Dollar Tree hauls and figure out which one, well, you'll know, cause I just told you. Ooh, <laughs> I'm not real bright, am I? Anyway, there's gonna be a giveaway later this week and you're gonna wanna watch cause it has some fun stuff in it. And if I didn't tell you, I mailed packages out to you for who won and to one person that I was sending some gnomes to. So five packages went out in the mail today. You should get them sometime next week. Please let me know if you don't. I do have tracking numbers. All right, let's film a Dollar Tree haul. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, don't look at my hair. I'm going to get it cut so I don't, um, I don't put any product or anything in it when I'm going for a haircut because, you know, why? I'm making coffee. This morning I'm opening up a bag of toasted coconut from Aldi. I really like their coffee, especially when they have fun flavors, but even when they don't, I just get the vanilla and hazelnut and then I add my own flavor because that's how I roll. And I'm got some dishes to do, a little tidying. I love these straws. They're from a brand called Ello, E-L-L-O, and I saw them at Target. I think it came in a 12 pack, but they're fantastic. If you are about the reusing straws, which I am. Um, part of the reason I like Starbucks more now for just regular drinks, one, I don't drink soda much. I mean, sometimes, but not go out or something or if I'm not feeling well I'll get something carbonated but I typically don't buy soda so I love Starbucks iced tea and now they have the lids you drink out of instead of the straws that makes me even more happy my boys are sitting here staring at me because they're hungry but they're terrible little pets let me tell you I woke up this morning well for backward we'll back up a second there is a reason I keep their treats in glass jars and cabinets. I woke up this morning to a mess. Somebody, Wellington, busted into the cat treats. Why, buddy, why? He has food. Please, please don't think that I don't feed them. They have plenty of food. He eats wet food three times a day because he's so spoiled and is refusing the dry food and I don't want him to starve. I'm just rinsing out bottles. These are Gatorade Zero bottles, but they are 32 ounces. So what I like to do is put them in the fridge with water or crystal light or something 
And then I know if I finish them both that I got 64 ounces of water. I'm really pushing the water right now. I'm trying my darndest to stop drinking so much coffee as I'm brewing coffee. But that's my first cup this morning. <laughs> so I just put these in the fridge in the morning and I will drink them during the day. And it's just a, a visual reminder of 64 ounces. And that is what I shoot for. I can go over, I try not to go under, blah, blah. And I'm rinsing out cat water containers from the Dollar Tree. They're working out pretty well. I will say one of them doesn't really snap on good. If I had a dog, they would probably spill it a lot. Now, when Luna comes, she doesn't mess with them. She'll drink the water, but she's not a big dog, so she doesn't tend to get aggressive you know, with the drinking and moving bowls and all that. But I do like to wash these out every couple days. Make sure it's fresh for my boys. I'm not wearing my rubber gloves, I know. Oh, speaking of, I bought, and I'm gonna talk about it in my next Dollar Tree haul, but I bought at Dollar Tree a bunch of masks, first of all. But I, those are name brand masks, but I also bought the April Showers, is that what it's called? Whatever, the, it's a Dollar Tree brand. Spa Life, April Shower, they're all Dollar Tree brands. I bought the foot and hand masks, and I'm telling you, they work well. They worked. I used it last night on my hands, and it really worked. Now, it says leave it on for 15 minutes. I left it on for closer to 30, but that's just me. But it, my hands were all dry looking, like white. Ugh, I'm trying to make my hair look at least presentable. Like white creasy and just gross. And they felt rough and today they don't. So I think there's some type of hyaluronic acid in it, like the face masks. Ooh, let's not put the towel, the dry towel in the water. Um, so yeah, I would definitely give those a thumbs up and I would recommend them if you see them if you have dry hands or feet they did they did wonders on my feet too the one i used on my foot i definitely let's use our snowman today i definitely left that one on for 30 minutes because i also did a face mask at the same time so i'm making coffee what is today again sunday i need to leave here in about an hour i'm going to be delivering the ham to my brother, go get my hair cut, and come home. I've got a couple videos to do for this week or firm up a couple videos. I have one filmed. I'm going to edit it in a second and get that up for Tuesday. I'm, if anybody wonders, a lot of my videos I do film on the weekends, which is why you'll see a lot of the same clothes, because I work during the week full time. And they, this, like I think I've mentioned before, by the way, this is a frother and I love it. If you have an Ikea near you, they sell them for $2.99. It's good for, I froth my cream, but you can also, um, if you have like protein drinks or anything powder that you want to mix in it does a good job it just takes a battery and then the whisk spins and it works great this i got from target it's at bodum brand it was ten dollars i've had it for years um but yeah so i'm gonna oh back to my video so i work full time during the week monday through friday and it's our busy season, so I've been working extra. So it's just easier for me to video bunches of stuff on the weekend and spread it out, uploading it during the week. It gives you consistent content and it gives me the flexibility for my day job. Thank you. Oh, I'll show you in a second my tiered tray. Okay, here's my tiered tray for Valentine's Day. And I forgot to say, Billy Joe from West Virginia sent me those three adorable little gnomes too. But I just put for winter a lot of white. Billy Joe, I think you sent me that gnome too. Just a lot of white in here. Excuse the other stuff on the table. And then pops of green for, you know, 
Um, that little squirrel holding his acorn, I'm sure that's a fall decor, but I don't care, it matches. And then that was the um, little wooden signs and I just colored it. So yeah, and then I have a little green over here, just pink, white, and gray. I think it goes well with my room. So that's my tear tray.